Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing the problem smallest distinct window. In this problem we are given a string s and the task is to find the smallest window length that contains all the characters of the given string at least once. So it is quite simple from the problem statement itself but still I would explain this in Hindi. So a string diya gaya hai. Ab uska smallest window length nikalna. Window matlab आप समझ सकते हो सब स्ट्रिंग जिसमें सारे कैरेक्टर्स जो ओरिजिनल स्ट्रिंग में है वो उसमें भी हो और वो एटलीस्ट वंस होने चाहिए ओके ना लेट अस इवैल्यूएट फॉर द फर्स्ट सैंपल टेस्ट केस एंड सी सो फॉर द फर्स्ट सैंपल टेस्ट केस दे क्लेम दैट बी ए सी हैज ऑल दिस सो फर्स्ट वी वुड गो एंड वी वुड प्रोसेस द स्ट्रिंग सो वी हैव ए वंस then again a a is already processed then b b we have one more character b then we have c okay so we would write c also then we have b b is already there a is already there c is already there so we have a b and c itself as the number of distinct characters next we would see that b a c has all a b c that is why the output to this is 3 itself fair enough now we would try to solve for the second sample test case we would try to solve this now we need to find a substring that has all the characters of the original string with the frequency of at least one so first we have a and we have b so now we would try to process all the substring the substrings are a next substring is a a then we have a a a then we have b okay then from the we started from here and then b went till that point that is a a a and then b itself okay then we would start from the second one that is again a okay then we have again a a then again a a b and then we would start from the third character that is a and then again a b then we would start with the third character that is b this is how we would find all the substring that is listed so 3 plus 3 that is 6 7 8 and 9 okay so we have nine substrings in total itself now let us see how many substring has all the characters ab so this substring has all the characters ab this substring has all the characters ab this substring has all the characters ab this has a size of 4 this has a size of 3 this has a size of 2 oh so the minimum size is 2 that is why the output of this is 2 so now from the sample test case itself we can see that if we need to find all substring find all substring then we need to see check the condition check the condition that is there and at the end we need to find the minimum size that we have itself this is what we need to do but for finding the substring we are standing at each position and then we are trying to find so for one character we are doing an operation so for one character in the worst case we are doing n minus 1 operation but the constants are ignored that is n operation so for n characters that is what is n 1 multiplied by n that is n multiplied by n so that is nothing but n square operation itself so can we afford an n square operation the time comp the worst value of n is 10 to the power 5 that is the upper bound of this so the value of n that is the size 10 to the power to the power 2 that is 10 to the power 10 okay because the bases are same and it is greater than 10 to the power 8 so we would get a tle okay we need to see something better than this okay to see something better than this so what we can do is we can use a kind of window like approach okay what we would do is i would just tell you and then we would see so first we would try to solve this for this one okay now what we would do is first we would count the number of distinct characters so we have a then we have b and then we have c we have this many distinct characters it is 
Now what we would do is we would have a pointer at this position. We would have a pointer at this position. Then we would start moving this. This pointer would be the head, and this pointer would be the tail. Now we would start moving the head pointer. Okay. Number of distant characters up till now is one. This is also one. This is two. This is two. This is two. And at this position, the number of distant characters is three. And we needed distant character three distant characters. So the value is true. So initially we would also have a value known as answer itself. So we would have answer is equals to the maximum value. So in the worst value, the whole string is the answer. So we would just take the value of n. Here the value of n is equals to ten. So we will let us mark the indices too. Okay, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. As this is zero index, so that is why the value of n is equals to ten. So we have head and we have tail. So what we can do is we can count the number of characters from head to tail. It is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six number of characters from head tail to head. So instead of counting the characters from tail to head, what we can do is head minus tail. Plus one. That is five minus zero plus one. So five minus zero plus one is equals to five plus one. That is equals to six. So we have six value, and the condition is verified. Six is better than ten. So we would update it. Next, what we would do is we would try to move forward the we would try to move forward the tail, because if the condition is satisfied, then we would try to move forward the tail itself. Okay. So what we would do is we would try to compress it from the left hand side. We have compressed it. Then we would check if the condition is now fulfilled or not. A, B, C, everything is there. So we would again check five minus one. That is four. Four plus one is equals to five, which is greater than six. So we would update it to five. Okay. Now what we would do is we would again compress this from the back because the condition is still true. So we would compress it. Now we have only two distant characters, but the desired number of characters is three. So now, if the desired condition is broken, we would move forward the head itself. So what we would do is we would move forward the head till the condition is true. So if we move forward the head, then again we have B B C B again two characters. Again move two characters only. Okay, then we again move. Then we have A B C. We have three all the characters. Then what we would do is eight minus two, that is six. Six plus one is equals to seven. But we have a better answer, five. So we won't update. It. If the value is satisfied, we would move forward the tail itself. Then we will move forward the tail. Okay, that is eight minus three plus one. Okay, eight minus three is equals to five. Five plus one is equals to six, which is which is worse than five. So we won't update this also. Then we would again move forward this as this. That is eight minus four is equals to four, and then plus one is equals to five, which is equal to five. So we have an answer like this. So we won't update it. Then we would again move forward this step because the condition is still fulfilled. Then we again have A B C satisfied. Eight minus five is equals to three. Three plus one is equals to four, which is better than five. So we have the value as four itself. Okay. Next, we would again move forward because the condition is still fulfilled. Now the condition is broken. We have only two characters. That is A and B. Now we would need to move forward the head till we have the value true. Now we again have B, A, C, everything. So nine minus six is equals to three. Three plus one is equals to four, which is equal to four. We won't update it because that is not a better answer. So we would move forward the tail itself. Now we have nine minus seven plus one. That is three, which is better than four. So we would move forward and we would update it. Now we would move forward the tail. Okay, we would move forward tail to this point, but the condition is now broken. But the head, we can't move forward the head because there is no position left. So now we would simply end this iteration. The best answer we have got is three. Okay. So what are the steps that were required in this one? So I would just keep writing everything, and I would just remove this one answer itself. So what we did was we initialized a head and a tail. Okay. Then. We move forward, move head till true. We are moving forward 
till the condition is till the condition is true we are moving forward the head next after this when the condition is satisfied we would move tail we would move the tail if the condition is broken again we would move the head if the condition is satisfied we would again move the tail now this is very simple okay so now instead of counting the number of distinct characters and iterating over the whole an ordered map or an array of size 256 again and again what we can do is we can have a counter like this i would just tell you so initially we have a b c with everything as zero now what we would do is suppose we process the a and we would have a count as zero initially we have no distinct characters suppose we have a count of a so count of a initially it was zero so we incremented and made it to one if after incrementing it is equal to one that means initially it was zero if it was zero that means initially usme koi value nahi tha initially usme character nahi tha that is why we have got a new distinct character so we would update it kya ho raha fir se bata raha hu okay ki bar bar array mein iterate karke distinct character nikalne se acha hai ki hame dekhna hai ki increment karne ke baad agar one aaya that means initially wo zero tha that means wo character exist nahi karta ab kar raha ab kar raha means ek character increment ho gaya so if it is one we would increment the count of distinct characters and even after decrementing the value become zero that means one character we have lost and we would decrement the character also this is how we would maintain the number of distinct characters and we don't need to we don't need to check the array on another map again and again okay now we would start implementing this and then it would make more sense okay so we have the string itself what we would do is we would have something known as unordered map and then we would have character and then we would have int itself and then we have m then what we would do is we would iterate on int i is equals to 0 i is less than n and i plus plus as we would need the size again and again so we would initialize a variable known as n and we would initialize it with the size itself and then what we would do is m of s of i and then it would be plus plus fair enough then the number of distinct is equals to m dot size itself okay then we would initialize int head is equals to minus 1 int tail is equals to 0 and the count of the character that is cn is also equals to 0 at initially the count of the distinct character is 0 and then we would clear the map itself because now we would use our own iteration and we know the number of distinct characters in the whole string itself okay we know that now we would initialize this so while tail is less than the size itself okay and now while head plus 1 is less than n that is we are checking that if it is within the index boundary or not then what we would do is if the count of the character is less than the distinct characters okay if this is the case then m of s of pre increment head and then we would do plus plus we would increment the value of that particular index now if after incrementing we have m of s of head is equals to equals to 1 that means it is now 1 that means we have got a new character so we would increment the count of the distinct characters that we have if after this if after this if the number of distinct characters is equal to equal to the distinct that we have then we would increment the value that answer is equals to min of answer and head minus tail plus 1 we have already discussed this now we would initialize the answer and answer is equals to n because in the worst scenario the whole string can be the answer suppose we have all the distinct characters only like a b c so the answer would also be a b c only okay so now we have this now after this if head is greater than equal to tail if head is equal to than equal to tail what we would do is m of s of tail and then we would do minus minus okay then if after decrementing that is m of s of tail is equals to equals to 0 if it is equals to equals to 0 that means we have lost one character so now we would do cn minus minus 
okay we have done c in minus minus now what we would do is we would go down and after doing the minus minus we would do tail plus plus tail would move forward and if after moving out the tail if the number of distant characters is equal to the number of distant characters we want then we would copy the same value Okay. Fair enough. After all of this, we would return the value of answer. Let us run them for a sample test case. So we have first one as three. So this is the input. We have the two that this is the input. Then we have for gigs for gigs that is the eight itself. This is working fine for the sample test case. Now let us copy this and submit this and see if we can get an answer. and yes we got an ac that's it for today thank you and have a nice day